One of the things that people appreciate from Curator quite a bit is the service discovery. I'm here on the asset tab, going to service discovery, and this feature has the capability of uh, automatically looking based on flows and or data from a vulnerability scanner to discover type of server. So let's say that I want to check for uh, DNS servers based on the flows that this machine has seen. When I click here, discover servers, it does find that, you know, the subnet 43 ending on one. That's a DNS server. I'm not going to I'm not going to prove it just yet. I just want to uh, show you what, what's going to happen if I go ahead and approve that server. So I'm going into the offenses and I'm going to be uh, looking into the rules. And first I'm going to be looking at the building blocks. So I go here on the rules, select building blocks. And I want to look for on the building blocks for the one that is for DNS. Uh, host definitions. So if I click here, I see BB building block host definition DNS server. And if I click on it, there shouldn't be anything in there yet. Just the default 127.0.0.0.2. There's nothing there. However, if I go into the asset database and that server that I just discovered and select approved, then that number 43.1 and then 43.1 should uh, get into my uh, building block. Okay, so let's go back here. We're still on building blocks. Let's look for DNS. And go to the host definition DNS servers and there we have it. Now, now that we have this in here, what are the things that we can actually do with it? Well, let's say that I want to create a rule. So I'm going to create a common rule on flows and events that I want to look for when someone puts a rock server, uh, the rock DNS server into my network. So first I'm gonna, how do I detect that is something is a DNS server? Well, let's say that I'm gonna use the port. So when the source or destination is any of these port and we'll use port 53. So that's the first condition. And now the next condition has to be, well, whether that server is not uh, It's not in that uh, building block. So I select this one when a flow or an event match any of the following rules. And instead of a rule, it's going to be a building block. So I'm going to look here for host definition and host definition DNS server. That's the one that we just had that uh, asset populated. And of course, I'm going to have to click here and not. So when I get somebody using port, oh, sorry, I clicked twice. When somebody is, is using port 53, which should be a DNS server, and it's not in my building blocked, fire an offense. Of course, I can also go here. Oh, I need to give it a name, uh, rog DNS server. Uh, so I could also make part of this rule to actually scan, you know, in order to trigger a scan for a particular uh, device. So, but uh, I haven't tested this, but you get the, the gist of it. Now, many new applications, and especially the ones that you get on the App Exchange, they work not with building block, but actually with reference sets. And there is a group of uh, reference sets already, you know, the ACP, DNS servers, etc., that uh, that also can work with your uh, rules as well.